Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today is Wednesday, August uh, 14th, 2024. Uh, we are moving in about two weeks, so September 1st. So about two weeks away, we get to start moving our stuff over to the other house. This house hasn't sold. We're just going to move over and we're just going to rent that house until we can purchase it. Just make an early easy transition. So I'm up here in my bedroom. I'm going to start packing my bedroom. I'm not touching my husband's stuff and I don't touch my kids stuff at this moment. You know, everything else is mostly packed. Uh, so I thought I would start up here. So just deciding, you know, going to go through my drawers, my dressers. I've got one chest of drawers I'm not going to touch because that's all like the undergarments and belts and accessories and things. So that I'm not even going to touch. But it's this dresser here I'm going to go through. I'm going to figure out if, what I'm probably going to wear in the next two weeks. I mean, I could always like, you know, unpack things if I needed them. But just to try to get my husband to see that I'm actually doing something because I haven't really done too much packing for a little while. So I'm just going to start uh, drawer by drawer and this is my t-shirt drawer so I'm just going to take up the stuff that I wear all the time so it'd be like all my friends t-shirts I wear, um, Seinfeld shirt I wear, Betty Boot shirt I wear, this one, Sailor Moon I wear, so this one I got to repair. So I gotta set this one aside. This one I recently bought in one of my thrifting hauls. So it was a DKNY shirt. I went through the washer and then I was wearing it and it's I snagged it. So I've got to restitch the little tag on. So that shirt I'm just gonna set up here so I know to repair it. But this one I wear all the time. And then I got a stack of, I can find them in here a whole stack of these shirts from the dollar store so it's Christmas Christmas Halloween Christmas and Christmas so these I definitely don't need I've got a few more lots of these shirts there's another Christmas 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 and then some other just other some basic t-shirts so these ones I can pack I won't even notice this shirt here fits this should be hanging up and it's tucked in my drawer did this also have something I had to repair on it I don't remember what it was so I will set that there X-Files shirt oh, this one needs to get it's got a stain okay these ones I guess it's supposed to be hanging up in my closet I don't know why they're in there I don't have to worry. These ones I can pack and I won't even notice. That's supposed to be hanging up in the closet. I wear that a lot too. Those t-shirts can get packed. I'll keep those ones up. Next drawer is kind of like a mix of a few things put on top. So I got like some pants. So my pants I'll keep out. Winter, you know, heavy jeans. I think I can put them to the side for now. Um, these are all sweaters. So my sweaters I can pack. These are supposed to be hanging. I think I know what happened. I think I was doing laundry and we had like the day before a showing. And I think I just tucked a bunch of clean laundry just in my drawers wherever they would fit. Instead of trying to, you know, hang stuff up. Because I've got another couple more long sleeve shirts that are supposed to be hanging. Now, I know I've got clothes in here that I know, like, that these ones and these ones I'm wearing, I put these on, and then as I was working, doing things today, it's ripped right down the side seam, right here, and these ones, too, I was wearing these the other day, and they just, they weren't fitting quite right, so I'll be going through my clothes and getting rid of a bunch of stuff, too. Let's see, Christmas aprons. I said I had needed somewhere to stick them. A whole bunch of jeans. 
hoodie. See, that can go. I don't think I'll need that. Yeah, see another blouse that's supposed to be hanging out. That one I wear quite a lot. I was doing my vitamins. I had a bunch of, you know, thought I could save space by taking all my vitamins. And I've got my list of my vitamins and which, you know, how many a day, how many, you know, how many times a day. And I put each of them into their own little Ziploc bag like this. I thought it would save a bunch of space. It did. I got rid of about 12 containers of vitamins. So now I've got a whole bunch of little baggies like this full of vitamins. I know exactly which ones are which. I mean, I wouldn't do this if I didn't know the difference between some of them. But if you have little kids, I wouldn't recommend putting vitamins in Ziploc bags, but I don't have any little kids at my house anymore. And I just stuck them in here. These are some more pants. I think I can pack most of these pants away. I can't see myself wearing some of these pants for the next, you know, two weeks. Just because, you know, how's the dress? I wear that one to church on Sunday. So I'm just trying to figure out what I know I will wear and what I won't be wearing. I've got these two pairs of pants my daughter had. Uh, they got a, needs to be repaired. So I just stuck them in the top of my drawer. Let's see. Oh, these can just, these pants can just all get packed away. I'm going to keep up my suede ones. But all these other can just kind of get packed for now and like I said if I need them I can always easily just grab them know what I'm going to probably wear in the next two weeks and not wear, so. Here, I know I wear these ones, so there's some more bedding. Just throw them up on the bed. There, and this drawer, sir, is empty and clear. I have to run down and grab the garbage bags. I didn't bring them up. Don't know why. I didn't think of that. I grabbed a stack of boxes, but I forgot to grab garbage bags for the clothes. Or I know some people say to take your clothes and put them in the drawers. Um, I don't really like that. I think the drawers are good and solid, and I actually prefer to take my clothes out and then the decor that I have on top of my dresser go my lamps. I actually like to put my lamps in the in the dresser drawers and move my lamps and other glass items in the dresser drawers especially when you've got family and stuff helping to move so now i will move on to my closet like i said i know kind of what i can keep and keep out and what i can kind of pack away so i'll just quickly go through like from in the closet from about about here, oops, sand is falling. So, oops. Okay. From about here back are all winter coats, so those can all just get packed. And then it's just, I've got some lighter weight coats, which I can pack most of these now. Like, I know I wear these in the fall, these coats, my leather type coats I wear in the fall. Um, I can't see myself needing them in the next two weeks. I can pack them. I'll keep out my jean jackets because this is about the time of year I can wear my jean jackets. And got this one. Uh, I'll keep this one out. And all the rest I guess I can pack. So I will just get to that now. If I can get this. 
this to move and I just, I cannot. Let me keep this white one because if it is a cooler morning for Sunday church, that's, I like that one for, for church. I will take the hangers off when I pack them. But. nothing hanging on this bar and yeah I can take this bar down too because there's nothing hanging on it these are such a good investment Ugh, these little bars it gives you a second shelf in the closet I bought these actually for the other house I'm moving to because we really needed the closet to you know, double duty cheapest option These coats. Take down all the empty hangers as well. And let's see these dresses. Let's see. Where are those ones to church? These ones I don't wear to church, so I can just put those ones away. hoodies and other jackets away. much as I like these dresses, I know these ones I don't wear to church, so I can, or they're more of like a fall winter weight, so I can get those ones. Just, I know I've got a couple weeks of, can't get rid of everything. But it's hard to know what you'd want to wear to church on a Sunday, so I'll keep you know, quite a few nice ones out. We also have a lot of nice weather at the moment, so I do want to keep out other dresses that I can wear throughout the week. There. Probably sell more dresses out than I'm that I know that I'm gonna I will be wearing in two weeks, but. That's okay. I like to have extra options. Okay. So my husband's hoodie. There. Tank tops. Get to the other. 
other side here and do this one. This one's gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna say to make my life easy, I'm just gonna pack all my skirts right now. As much as I love my skirts, if I just pack them now, I don't even have to think about them and all my winter scarves. Just pack those as well. This is a whole bunch of just off of here, empty hangers now, just put them on the floor. I love these things as well, and I will say this one still has the price tag, so I bought it at Salvation Army for 99 cents. Again, great way to be able to hang stuff on top of each other, like layering um, pants, skirts, dresses, some tops, scarves, anything like that, then you can get, you know, you can use up more of your closet for other things. Curtain panels that I bought because I was going to make something and I have not had time to make anything with them. Now it comes to this next one. This is all blazers. There's a couple dress shirts and other. Uh, I'll keep that one out. I'll keep this one. Just because I don't really know what the weather's like in the next two weeks, but I can put pack all my blazers away. I'm definitely not going to be needing my blazers or my suits at the moment. Don't remember the last time I even wore a blazer, but I love blazers. As you can tell, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think here, or seven. Six or seven blazers. Because we are getting some of the cooler days, so I'm keeping two of these out. They're just those little pullover sweater vests and as for my shirts that are here this one fell off its hanger this one I'm definitely keeping because I'm not packing it I do wear this one quite a lot so it's easy to go through Some warmer stuff, but I don't need to keep every single shirt out at the moment. And I love these shirts that have that little thing at the bottom, like the little onesie styles. They're perfect for wearing with skirts. But I've packed all my skirts, so I'm just gonna get rid of, so I'm just gonna pack all of those dress shirts as well. another dress. Maybe I'll keep that just because I don't know what kind of mood I'll be in for a church service. I'll keep that shirt. I kind of know what I do wear like day to day so I know what I can kind of quickly just go through and pack up This is a shirt that was from one of my, again, one of my last thrifting hauls. And I threw it in with all the other clothes I had bought 
that day. So now I'm going to have to work. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got some blue stain. And so it's from this shirt. I didn't realize that this shirt had never been washed. And I threw all those clothes in, not thinking about throwing a white shirt in with some colored shirts. All the shirts I happen to have were all blue. So this one had never been washed. And so this one also bled. All this dark blue had bled into this shirt and onto this shirt. So now I've got some, I'm going to have to get that stain remover or that. I've got some of that for fabric. Um, when you wash the white, it makes them bright again. So... I haven't had a chance to wear this shirt, so I'm going to keep it out, but I do have to fix the laundry mistake. I've got lots of nice fall shirts. Dresses here. Oops, I think these ones I don't need to keep. Put these ones out. Oh, I got this nice pantsuit. I do have one Sunday coming up where I do work nursery. I think I'll keep this pantsuit for when I do nursery. Oops, I didn't mean to hit the wall with the hanger. Uh, these fall weighted ones can get packed, and I've got a few more nice dresses, but I don't need to keep out all the black dresses. I've got enough dresses already left out. So, pretty much my closet is empty. These were already all the hangers. I've already gotten rid of all these clothes last time I went through here. Now I will go through the shoes. Oh, my thing just does not want to stand up to me. Oops. There we go. Oh, my, this tripod just doesn't want to stand up. So the empty hangers. Oops. Oh. I'm just hanging myself into the walls. Okay, I'll hang that back up. Now I'll go through the shoes. Shoes are fairly cool will be fairly quick and easy to go through. Start down here. I have these ones that I love, but uh, they need to be repaired. So those I can pack because we never got a chance to repair them. Um, I, think, I think because of where we are in the season, um, I think my wedge shoes can just get packed. I think they can all just get packed right now. I'll keep this this pair out. My red and orange ones for church. I'll pack those black ones. The boots definitely can just get packed. Okay, I won't touch. I got my slippers I need. These shoes I love, but they broke on me like a week ago. That one oh. and the heel on this one. One day this happened, not that bad. It just kind of made a, it did something funny. Then the next day this fell apart and this really fell apart. So I'm keeping them because I love the little cat that goes right across here. So I'm keeping these so I can cut the cat out and do something with the little cats on them. But I think, um, just trying to figure out, okay. These ones I wear a lot to church. So I think I can pack all these other shoes, all my other heels. I don't think I'm gonna be wearing any heels in the next two weeks. Not that I can that I can think of. Uh, my sandals can go. I wear those during the week. I like those. I like my Ralph Lauren. Uh, these ones I can hang. Mm. That is such a hard decision to make. 
You've got two weeks worth of time. What shoes do you wear or not wear? So I think I'm going to pack all these ones here. My husband bought me new runners, so I'm going to pack these three pair. And I realize I am totally out of the frame now. Just one second. I just had to lower that. So now I've got this rack empty, this boot shelf like basically empty. So I'm keeping just a few pairs of shoes. Probably more shoes than I really do need for the next two weeks. But like I said, I've got a couple of Sundays. And I know uh, I've got one Sunday where I do nursery. So I can't wear heels doing nursery. So I, I'm keeping two pairs of flats. Um, these, I, I don't need to keep those ones out. These are boots. You know, they can go. These ones can get packed. I think all these shoes on this side can just get packed. Um, sandals. I'll keep one pair of sandals out. I'll pack all the others. These other runners can go because I've got a pair downstairs. So I've now gone through all my clothes and decided what I'm keep what I'm packing right now. <coughs> a lot of dust all of a sudden. Okay. So I'm just going to run downstairs, grab garbage bags, put all these clothes that I've got sitting on the floor into garbage bags, get my shoes put in garbage bags, and I will be right back. Actually, before I grab garbage bags, I've got one little shelf here where I've got my purses, and I don't really have, because I knew we were moving, so I already packed most of my purses, so I've got this bag here, it's my Louis Vuitton. I kind of misplaced it, I just found it the other day. So I've got this bag. And I've got my little Barbie bag. And I have this one here that my daughter got me for uh, Mother's Day. It is full of just random stuff from my closet. When we were having a showing, I just had stuff, I just threw it all in there. Uh, this little bag I got from the dollar store, so I bought some stuff and I just, I didn't have any bags on me, so I bought this one. It's a perfect one for when we go to the beach. It's lined, but it doesn't have any inside pockets, but it does have a zipper, which is what I like for going to the beach. I could put my wallet in here, and I don't have to worry about my wallet getting covered in sand. Just didn't like the fact that there's no inside pockets. So that one I'm still going to keep out. And I've got this one I use for church. This is my Anne Klein bag, which I had gotten pretty recently. I've shown it on one of my thrifting hauls in the last few months. Then I've got oops, this guest bag that I also got just very recently. In fact, I haven't even had a chance to use it or clean it out. I still got the price tag of $4.50 for a genuine leather guest purse. So I have to wash it before I use it. So I wanted to wash it before I pack it away. So that still got out. And then I have my little um, hip pack, fanny pack, whatever you want to call these. And a smaller wallet that just fits inside here so I can use this. So that's what I'm keeping for purses. For right now, I don't believe I'm thinking the next two weeks, what will I definitely be using? So I think I'm packing my shoes. I might as well pack up some of these purses. So I think that's Barbie one I like. I have, I use that one. And this Louis Vuitton, I haven't used it for a while. I just found it. So I'm just, there's a couple items in the front pockets here. So I'm going to take these out and I'm just going to pack these, these couple of bags just because I don't need all of these out. Just moving things and then you find all the dust because the closet hasn't been fully vacuumed out under the shoes for a little while. Okay, so now I'm going to run down and grab garbage bags and I'll be right back. So that's all the shoes I've kept. Actually, I've got two pair downstairs. Um, uh, two pairs of runners downstairs, but pretty much that's all the shoes I've kept. Those are all the empty hangers from last time I cleaned out my closet. And then I've got this. So from here to here, 
So about half this closet is the clothes I'm keeping. The other half is stuff that I just haven't put in a bag yet. I was going to. Um, it is almost seven o'clock. So I started this about 5.30 to see how long it's taking me to get this far. I just got a message from our realtor. So we have a showing on Friday. So uh, I just figured I can do put these other items in a bag later after I get my husband. Same with these pillows up here. I'm just going to throw them in a bag. Then I just have a few books here and uh, you know, my Bibles and my journals right there, nail stuff, purses, and then more books. And then that bag is just full of some odd little things too. And then this is just some of my makeup stuff and some decor things and the foot soaks. So those type of things I can start packing into boxes. But here we go. There's the pile of hangers and stuff that I got out of the closet. And then there's all the bags. So two of them are shoes. And then one, two, three, four, five, six of them are clothes. So there's eight blue garbage bags of clothing. Um, that dresser right there is now completely empty. I got all the stuff in those six drawers. I got into the top couple drawers here. And then I just got belts and t-shirts. And then just some pants and some more pants. So like these were just, you know, like all the extra other items that were in those other drawers. I will just go through those in a little bit because those I don't need that many stockings, like brand new stockings out. I've got a few things on my bed that were bedding that I found as I was cleaning. And I've got a few other clothing items I just got to hang up. And then I also quickly cleared this out too. So there's nothing in there. And then up here is just some papers that I will have to put away with the other papers. But I think I'm going to end uh, right there today or right now. I, when I get back, as I said, I've got to run to get my husband. I am going to be cleaning out the bathroom. So I'm going to be doing all these drawers here. There's not really anything much in here, but I don't need all of this stuff for the next two weeks. So there's like really nothing here. Well, some of the new makeup I just bought that I haven't even used yet. Toothpaste is important to always have out. These are important to always have out. And garbage bags are important to always have out. And then it's just under the sink, I will just go through and see what's under there that I can kind of pack away. Like I said, there's not really much left here. I mean, on my counter, I've got soap and um, body lotion. And then in the shower, we have just our basic shampoo, conditioner, and body washes. So there's really like nothing really in the bathroom left to really pack. But when I get back from getting my husband, I will finish that so I will be back shortly. Okay, so it's now just after nine. I've been working really hard getting this closet cleared out. So all the shelves are empty. There's just the one bag up there. Then I've got my purses. I just put all my purses in between the two bags for tonight. And then there is all the clothes I'm keeping. Everything else that I had kind of just quickly put up. I did pack away and I got all the hangers neat on these little organizer things. Just the closet looks a little bit neater. And then I pushed the shoe rack in just under here. And then this side of the closet, I've got all my empty hangers and then some of the other empty storage things. Like I said, I love these little um, bars. They work perfect. This part here, the closet already has the two racks, but this side only has the one. So I really find these really help to give you twice the amount of storage in your closet. Then I'm just gonna turn this way. So I just have to deal with those pillows. Like I said, I'm just gonna put them in a bag. So then because I finished doing everything from the closet, I got one more bag of clothes from the closet. I got a couple winter coats that I just kind of threw up on the top of the bags. And then everything else that I had on the shelves in the closet, I just put in here for tonight. 
So tomorrow morning, I'm going to be back in here and I'm going to start packing up the extra bath products that I'm not going to need in the next two weeks. I mean, I'm looking, I'm like, uh, I can probably just pack all my essential oils. I haven't, um, I haven't used any for a while. I don't know what that was. Just, oils were just kind of spilt. And then just all this other stuff. I'm just going to keep the basic stuff that I use. Like anything that's like that once a week or once a month treatment stuff. I'm just going to pack away tomorrow. Like I said, so it'll be going through this drawer and this drawer. I'm just keeping out the basic makeup that I, that I will be using the next two weeks. Which is not a lot. I don't really wear makeup every day. Like I said, same with under here. I'll just take out like the items that we use every day. So it'll just be you know, the toothbrushes and then my facial cleanser and all the rest of this stuff can get packed. Uh, this, some of this first aid stuff up here is um, first aid that I keep up here. I already have a full first aid kit downstairs in the kitchen so I can pack all that stuff away tomorrow. So I'm going to end here tonight. I will be back tomorrow morning to finish packing up this bathroom. Right, so this is how I ended last night. I mean, I made my bed quickly this morning. It's not perfectly made, but I do believe that if you just take like two minutes, just throw the pillows and the blankets back on your bed, kind of where they should go. Every time you walk into your room, it makes you feel better. So same with just those red cushions. I just put them on that shelf last night and same with the other body pillow. I just threw it back up there. And I guess it's with my purses. I just have them sitting there. I'm not going to pack any more of this stuff away. I think I've got most of it packed. I mean, you know, like I need at least two weeks worth of clothing, but maybe a little more because when we're moving to does not have a closet for my clothes, so that's still trying to figure a few things out. But I'm gonna head to the bathroom because that's what I'm gonna work on today. Like I've got all this extra stuff that was on my dressers and I put in the closet. Now it's all just sitting back on top of my dressers again. And then all my books right there. I'm just gonna take my stacks of books. I'm just gonna put them on the shelf in my craft room for now. But it's in here is where I need to, um, really decide where this stuff is going to be put. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to start drawer by drawer. So this top drawer is my husband's drawer, so I'm not touching it. Then I've got this drawer here and I've got this drawer. Um, I had some of this stuff pulled out cause I did a quick facial last night. So and I'm just also just trying to find some of my other tools and things that I needed for that. And just wondering what else. I kind of looked through this last night and figured out what do I need, what don't I need. It's just... And then same with, like I said, under here. I think pretty much everything under here can all just get packed. It's pretty easy. So I'm just going to grab my stand and some boxes and I'll be right back. So I'm going to do under the sink first, I think it's just the fastest. Now, these are lightweight boxes and it does have that slit right here. So when packing, I always am aware of how big my boxes are. And anything I know that we need to keep, I'm just going to set up here. And the lights broke off my dish. Okay. I think I already knew that. Okay. So I've got a couple of these. These are so big and heavy and they have a handle. I'm not going to pack these. They can just, they can still stay under here for a little while. It's not a big deal. There's this other stuff out. Same with the stuff that's in this bucket. It's stuff that we use, like the squeegee, towels um, for cleaning, and then my 
scrubbing bath mat and my body pillow. So those I do still need to have out. cleansers this stuff I need out my shampoo I need conditioner my facial scrub these can get packed This. There's no point in packing this, it won't fit in this box. So let it just stay out. But these containers can get packed. This is just extra bars of soap. extra um, first aid kit supplies and same with this stuff this is just extra first aid stuff but you know, these ones are in this little basket I'm going to take out of this basket and all this stuff just in the box These glass jars, I think I'm just going to keep the glass jars out as well. So that's stuff I need that's in there. this I'm just gonna leave this under here I'm just gonna put my facial stuff back on it because I do like it and I can just pull I mean you know it's one of the bathtub things it doesn't fit on my bathtub here so I just use it under here and then I can just grab all my facial cleansers and bring them up and then I can put them back under here so I'm just gonna leave all this stuff Wash remover, um, peroxide, some more um, hand cleaner. So, missing leg is now in the bottom of the one that's missing out of. Say under there is done. So I'm gonna go to this. Okay, so this little skinny drawer. Now the few items that are in here, I think, can just stay. But they said it's just cotton pads, uh, garbage bags, and some toothpaste. So I might as well leave those items there. I'm just going to move my foot soaps out of the way. Facial steamer. I'm just going to move these. Okay, so now come the fun drawers. 
I work so hard to organize and they not as neat and organized as they were when I did them, but take out all of those bags here and see what I've got in each one of them, see what I need to keep out. This is my these are my makeup bags. It's hard to decide like what makeup you know you need to keep out for the next couple of weeks. But I think I I think I can do that. I think I can narrow all my makeup down to just a few small things. Now, I love my friend's eyeshadow palettes. These I'm actually just going to pack right now. Just because I'm going oh, to get another box. I'm going to need a second box for my makeup. through them and decide which items I actually need and don't need. Um, so I've got these. So I had bought these and I just, I, the shoes I was going to put these on, I think I've already packed. And I've got a few more of these that I've bought. So I'm just going to set these up here and figure out where they go. Oh, my little facial cleanser sponges. I'm going to set them this little oops, container here. I'm just going to set these things just on here. Oh, I've got more of these sitting in here. Oh, there. It kind of just gets those out of my way for right now. Obviously, it's still need my deodorant, but all these other things, I don't need to keep all of these out. They're all basically the same thing. They're just all the uh, foot creams and lotions. Glass bottle, actually, see, glass perfume. I do like to keep out just because I don't like to pack glass away too soon. Now, this one is the one I use all the time, so that one I'll keep out. But some of these other things, I'm just gonna. see myself actually using any um, mousse right now. Um, hairspray, I'll keep up the hairspray and I'm going to keep up my Tresemme between washes and then all this other stuff can just get packed. And I've got all these hair barrettes and things. I'm just going to leave them down here for now. I will deal with those in a little bit. I'm just going to open up this drawer and just see what I have up here. And these are like hair accessories that I just bought. I haven't even had a chance to use yet. And this other stuff it's like still in the boxes I haven't used it There's other things I think I'm just gonna pack these some of these things away Accessories, I'm just going to throw in this bottom drawer. I don't have to deal with them right this minute. Thank you. 
batteries in here. Don't know what for. There's just more other little odd things. I'm just gonna throw these things in this box. And this drawer just needs to be washed out. This is just brushes and combs. I will go through that in a minute. But now I just have to go through, like I said, my actual makeup and decide what I'm gonna keep and not keep for the next two weeks. So that's gonna take a little longer because I gotta dump each of these bags out. So I'll be back when I get all this done because it's gonna take me probably about an hour to go through all my makeup that I've got here. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, I've got the bathroom done. I still have to wash out the drawers. I didn't get to that part yet, but that one's empty. And here, so that red basket that had other stuff in it, I put all those little hair scrunchies in. Uh, these two little makeup bags have got different hair elastics, and this one's got those little clear and black hair elastics. I clipped some of my um, these little hair clips on the side of the basket. I've got my combs and brushes are also in that basket. I kept out my um, makeup brush cleaner. I haven't used it yet. I can't wait to actually get a chance to use that. I've got this little makeup bag here, which I've got in here my oops, nail care stuff. And then this bag here, oops, the number? Um, this one here, I've emptied it out and I think I've kept out whatever makeup I know I actually wear. So I've got different makeup in here, and that is it. So I don't really use that much makeup compared to the amount of makeup I actually own. So counter is all cleared off, and then like I said, under here, I had this other tray here that I had my own my essential oils on. I packed them away, so I just kept the tray out. And then the other tray I just put behind there with a few other items under here. So the bathroom is basically done. Whatever's in there is stuff we actually use. Same with in the shower. It's just the stuff that we use on a daily basis is all that's now left out. And I had all that decor stuff that I had on the dressers and I put it in the closet and then I brought them all out but I just decided to just put them back on the shelves here in the closet for now. I will pack those away in the next day or two. I just don't think I really need to, you know, at this moment, I've got the showing early tomorrow morning. I've got other stuff I really have to get to, like vacuuming and mopping need to be done before I continue packing up all the rest of the stuff. But you can see that the closet is pretty much empty. Even if I put a few extra little things back in here, instead of just leaving, I could have left some of that stuff on the bathroom counter, but I decided to just stick it all back in here on these shelves. Even though it meant taking everything out and then having to bring everything back in, at least it looks more organized and put together. Like I said, so that long tall dresser is completely empty. Then I got these ones here, which I did do quickly yesterday with all the clothes. So I got some pants in this one, pants, t-shirts and belts, and then socks, and then I got other items in that top drawer, I guess. And like I said, those two drawers are empty. I just have the one, well, almost empty, it doesn't matter. Just got some personal papers, and then I got some extra bedding in the bottom drawer for now. But I will say, I am like, I think, I am basically got my stuff packed. So I'm gonna end here saying, yeah, I've got my master bedroom. I got the closet packed out. Now I do know that when I move, I usually do something different with my clothes. And I usually take the garbage bags and put the tie them around the hangers to move the clothes, which I actually prefer than taking everything off the hangers. I only doing it this way right now because where we're moving to, I won't have a closet. So that was just, what's the point of trying to um, hang everything up and keep it all hanging up in the closet with attach the hangers if I'm not gonna have a closet anyway. So I might as well just take everything off the hangers and pack it away. So I guess I'm gonna end there. I got my master bedroom and the bathroom all emptied out. 
Again, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who subscribes to my channels and watch my videos, and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.